welcome to my 37 week bump date. This bump date is actually coming a little bit late. I turned 37 weeks on Tuesday and today's Friday, so I'm more like 37 weeks in three days, I think. Yeah, math isn't my strong point. Um, but yeah, I'm 37 weeks. I'm trying to do weekly bump dates, I don't know. Also, sorry if I'm running out of breath, like, homeboy has been taking up all my lung space, I think. Like, I think they say that you don't drop your second time around, so I don't know if that has to do with him still being up high or not. I have no idea, but I'm just like, I can't get through a single sentence without running out of breath these days. Like that. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, 37 weeks, it says baby is the size of a winter melon, 19 to 22 inches, and about six and a half pounds. So basically at this point, Baby's the size of a baby, honestly, um, and he could come pretty much any time now, almost. Um, I'm hoping that he stays in there until 40 weeks, though, at least, because um, now that we don't, now that I'm not getting an induction, we've kind of, my family's had to, like, plan out their, their trips out here, and um, my dad's coming the week that he's due, and then my mom's coming the following week. So if he comes on time, we're good. My dad will be here. If he comes late, we're good. My mom will be here. If he comes early, I don't know. Um, yikes. <laughs> Let's hope he doesn't come early. I really just want him to stay in there till at least 40 weeks. That's really like my plan, but Homeboy hasn't been exactly like the easiest pregnancy. Like it hasn't, I won't say that this has been a hard pregnancy at all because it really hasn't been. Um, it was just my pregnancy with Riley was so easy. Like so simple, so easy, nothing, like nothing to complain about. That just like any minor inconvenience this time around, I'm just like, this pregnancy has been, it's been harder than it was with Riley. Has it been hard? No, it was just, it's harder in comparison to Riley's. Um, homeboy didn't let me hear his heartbeat until like two weeks later than Riley did. Um, he has been all up in my ribs. He gave me back pain way earlier on than Riley did. Riley, with Riley, I didn't have any back pain until probably about 38 weeks. I've been having back pain with him since probably like 28 30 weeks so i don't know also he's just like really hectic with his movements like he doesn't seem to give a single crap that he's in a confined space like i feel like riley was aware of that and she was like very gentle with me and he just doesn't give a single crap like he will kick up as high as he can he'll try to stretch out if i'm laying on my side he makes it very uh, apparent that he does not like that and he will literally sit there and it feels like he's literally just like punching me um yeah he's just kind of honoring compared to riley so i really wouldn't be too surprised if he decided to throw a curveball and come early um i would just be like yeah that's baby brother um, but anyway, so I went to the doctor on Tuesday. Obviously, I'm at this point, I'm at weekly appointments. Um, thankfully, because I just love going to the doctor so much. Thankfully, Christmas is next Tuesday. So even though my appointments are every, are normally on Tuesdays, um, this next appointment, I have more like a week and a half-ish this time around because I don't have to go until Thursday because obviously Christmas is on Tuesday, so they're not open. Um... So, little wins. Um, but I went on Tuesday and he did our first cervical check. I am a centimeter dilated and I think he said 25% effaced, which basically means nothing. People have been, people will, like, people can be like a centimeter dilated and stay that way for literally weeks <laughs> um, with like out anything happening or any progression. So, that really doesn't mean anything to me. Um, but just good to know, I guess. Um, what else? This week, I think Jake has really, it's really hit Jake that we're about to have a baby. Um, he came into the, my room the other day, I was laying in bed, and he came in and he's like, you know, we're having a baby in three weeks. And I was like, yeah, I'm well aware of that. Um, he reminds me, okay, sorry, I have to put an LOL doll. Um, 
he reminds me every you know every day I'm, rem I'm definitely reminded that we're having a baby i can I, I know he's getting big i can feel it um but i think it just really hit jake the other day that like he was like holy crap we're having a baby um <laughs> and honestly it's kind of hit me more too i was laying in bed with riley last night and um we were just laying there and we kind of we have our routine like you know you just kind of fall into a routine and although routines kind of change with the seasons and everything we just we really have a routine going and um things are really nice like we lay in bed together um and she'll watch videos at night and we'll cuddle and we'll talk and we'll just fall asleep together and then in the mornings, kind of the same thing. We'll just wake up whenever we feel like waking up. We'll chat a little bit. We'll cuddle a little bit more. We'll get up and make breakfast. And things are just like really smooth. And like we just, we have, we just have our dynamic as a family of three already going on and everything. And to think about the fact that here in a couple short weeks, that's all going to change. And like we're really moving on to another chapter of our lives. And like there's going to be, a whole nother human like in our house like and living with us and part of our daily routine like every day like it's just I don't know it's crazy to think about it's part of me is really excited obviously like you know it's gonna be exciting to see Riley's reaction and it's gonna be exciting as he gets older to see how they interact together and everything and stressful at times I'm sure um but um at the same time it's kind of like sad in a sense I don't know how to really describe it um it's kind of sad to think that everything we know and how things are you know now is just gonna change like it's not gonna be just me and my rye bugs anymore and we're not gonna be able to really have these just her and I cuddle sessions in the in the morning anymore and um just stuff like that like it's just I don't know it's like letting go of something that we're so used to and something that we've fallen so comfortable and used and like accustomed to and embracing the change and all of that just like like I said part of me is really excited and then part of me is kind of like it's it's very bittersweet to me um I don't know just because my rye bugs is my rye bugs and like I know this is like a thing that I feel like a lot of second time moms go through when they're pregnant um it's just the the thought of like how could I possibly like how could like life ever like you know things are so good right now and like I love this child so much like how could I possibly love another child this much and they say like your heart just grows but I don't know like it's it's not a worry that I won't be able to love him. It's just, like I said, it's just letting go of one thing and accepting the change that will, like this this chapter in our life is closing. It's coming to a close. And we're about to start a new chapter. Um, it's just, like I said, very bittersweet. I'm just talking in circles at this point. But yeah, um, so next appointment's in on Thursday hopefully I mean he's gonna check me and everything we'll see if anything's changed hopefully nothing's really changed because like I said I'm really hoping to hold out until about um 40 weeks if we can I really don't want him coming any earlier than that that'll throw a huge curveball at everything um but yeah I'm gonna do a belly shot and then I think that's it all right Shirt up. <sighs> My stretch marks haven't changed very much this week. They're still kind of status quo. They're showing a little bit, but not too much. They haven't gotten any darker. Obviously haven't gotten any lighter either though. <laughs> I wish. But yeah, anyway, that's it. Uh, thanks so much for watching.